So I want to tell you two short stories. So the first story is in physics, and it starts with Heisenberg's famous uncertainty principle. So the uncertainty principle says that if you have a particle, then it's not possible to exactly measure both its position and its momentum simultaneously in an experiment. So this raises an interesting issue for physics, which is if I have such a particle, then how do I describe its state in a way that I can experimentally check? So Dirac thought very carefully about this, and he found a way to get around it. So um, he showed in 1930 that uh, every physical system can be completely described in terms of quantities which can be measured simultaneously. So what that means is that even if there is this uncertainty principle, there's always a way to get around it. And this is a, sort of a fundamental fact in physics that's used all the time. So Cadison and Singer were mathematicians who were looking at this in the 50s. And they asked, uh, can Dirac's claim be uh, mathematically justified? So Dirac's proof was not really a rigorous proof. And they asked, uh, is there a rigorous proof of this uh, important fact? So this turns out to be a question about infinite matrices. And they thought that the answer to this question was no. So last year, with Adam Marcus and Dan Spielman, uh, we showed that the answer to this question is actually yes. Uh, the second story is in computer science. It's related to this problem of graph compression. So a few years ago with Batson and Spielman, we showed that uh, every graph can be approximated by a sparse weighted graph. So that is, every graph is similar to a weighted graph with average degree at most 10. So that's a graph with very few edges. Um, and the natural question here is, can you do this without weights? So uh, it would be nice if you could show that such a statement is true without weights. That would be a stronger statement. And again, last year with Marcus and Spielman, we showed that the answer to this question is yes. So the, the nice connection here is that these two yeses are actually the same. So the first question, the question from physics, and the second question about graph compression, they both reduce to the same question about matrices. It's a question in linear algebra. And this is the question that we solved last year using some new techniques uh, related to polynomials.